Hey, where's Tainer's? Bunk, 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 bank, bank, bank. Well, it's time for another episode of, uh, no, it's not even an episode, really. It's just time for the next Deli Bread thing, right? I don't care. Look at me. I'm hideous, all right? Hey, 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 look at me. Bang up. Bang up. Bang up. me. Anywho. Nope. I go this way with it. I like it this way. Right? Or yes or no. This one's fine for today. I don't care the aspect ratio. We'll do it this way. Guiding light, right? That was uh, the next one. And it is a sad day, just for like even even those of us who it's not an epiphany. Some of the uh, sneaky things is still really sad about it. Let's see what this has to say about it. Guiding light. The restaurant was lovely but dark. Only one small candle flickered on every table. To create light, dinners used their smartphones. Diners, excuse me, to create light, diners used their smartphones to read their menus. Or will menus, maybe. (laughs) Their menus. Look to their table mates and even to see what they were eating. Finally, a patron quietly pushed back his chair, walked over to a waiter and asked a simple question. Hey, could you turn on the lights? Before long, a warm ceiling light flashed on and the room erupted with applause, but also with laughter and happy chatter and thank yous. My friend's husband turned off his phone picked up his utensils, and spoke for us all. Let there be light. Now let's eat. Our gloomy evening turned festive with the flick of a switch. But how much more important to know the real source of true light. God himself. Yahweh himself. God. You know, God. His proper name. God himself. The Exodus one, you know, God, the Genesis one from like Genesis one, verse one or whatever. God himself spoke those astonishing words. Let there be light on the first day when he created the universe. And there was light. Genesis chapter one, verse three. Then God saw that the light was good. Light expresses God's great love for us. His light points us to Jesus, the light of the world, who guides us from the gloom of sin. Walking in his light, Jesus' light, we find the bright path to a life that glorifies the Son, the only begotten Son of God, you know, Jesus. He is the world's brightest gift, hence Christmas stuff. As he shines, may we walk his way. That's what us Christians believe. Like, don't don't kill us if you disagree. I mean, you know what I mean? Like we're not we're all right about it, some of us. Now, in what situation do you need Christ's light to shine? Christ's light, not yours. Maybe start with three sixteen through three twenty one. Maybe I'll even read it. In what situation do you need Christ's light to shine? When has his light guided you? Loving God, you know, Father God, we thank you for Jesus, the light of the world and the guiding light of his great love. Because they're two different people. You know, his Father God, he's God. <laughs> and then his son, Jesus, that's the other ghost busted. Oh, he's two, there are God, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> but really, loving God, loving Father God, the one God, the invincible, omnipotent uh, dinosaur in the sky who's not bound by time or whatever, and he's probably not a dinosaur. Anyway, he's the potter, we're the clay. He's not the main vine, Jesus is. He's the uh, <clears throat> farmer, you know what I mean? The farmer in the down, the, uh, you know, the farmer. <laughs> he's the potter, we're the clay. Harry Potter's not the potter, he's a creature. He's clay, like us. He's even fake, I mean, the actor seems quite real, but... <laughs> You know, Daniel Radcliffe, or whatever his name is, or whatever his name is, and the other guys, and even me, even a person like me. I bet I'm real. Well, look, I got the, I got this stuff about it. I don't just live, uh, long live the frame. Hey, wait a minute. I'm a real person here. Even the actors are uh, Even the sports players are Hey, wait a minute here. Even the YouTube kids are whatever. Hey, wait a minute. What are you doing here? Loving Father God, we thank you for Jesus, the light of the world, and the guiding light of his great love.
God's great love. Jesus is the guiding light. He's Rudolph, you know, who likes to slay, you know, you know, Santa's a little helper about it. Today's reading is Genesis 1, verse 1 through 5. God said, let there be light, and there was light. And there, if you want to read the uh, the Bible one year there, and this is from 2019, as we know. But And then, like I said, I know I've touched on it in my series, but like I don't believe that God created the world that's 5,000 years old. I even have, I'm quite scientifically and scripturally kind of persuaded it's not that. I don't hate you if you think it's like creationalism and it's 5,000 years verbatim, but I would remind you to, to God, a day is like a million years and a million years like a day. Might not have been like regular days on earth because, well, in case you didn't notice, the earth was without form for a couple of days. <laughs> what does that mean if not it was like vapor and hadn't even, you know, you didn't even do it yet? But if you look at the order, right? Compared to all the other creation stories, it is kind of scientific. First there's light. First there's nothing. Then there's light. And that kind of follows, like, after the Big Bang, there was nothing. There was no stars. It was just weird stuff. And then, boom, light. Right? And then all of a sudden, like, it kind of, you know, because he's talking to people, like, you know, probably 5,000 years ago. Remember? <laughs> so he's not all that sciencey, but it is pretty sciencey. Then first there's, like... The land, and the water, and the plants, then the fish, then the uh, creatures on the land. And then, like, last but not least, there's us or something, verbatim. <laughs> and uh, I think the order is a little bit, but hey, wait a minute here. <laughs> Don't you, he created us on the, on the sixth day, you know, six, and then on the seventh, he rested or whatever. <laughs> and then on the uh, seventh or the eighth or whichever one, uh, he, he, he yelled at uh, Adam and Eve because something about they were naughty about it. <laughs> or, like, whatever it is. Anyway, that's all I know about it. And as far as this John 3.16 bit, look, stop with it, all right? I'm going to flip with it. And there's some, there's some stuff. I don't mind, like, I don't mind. No, I don't mind. John uh, 4, John, uh, do, do, do. John 3, the new birth. Yeah, there's this stuff, right? That's what it is. That's chapter 3. And then there's uh, the first part's the, like, famous part. And the rest of John chapter 3 is down here. And then there's four. And here, I can give you five. John's a strange book. It's the one that's not like the other three. But they were all in cahoots. I mean, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> Have you ever read the Book of Acts? Anyway. We're just going down to uh, born again, all the crap that they hate, but they don't even understand what it means. And then uh, don't know what it means, just like music. They have no clue. You know, uh, Smash is the way you feel all alone. <laughs> and it feels like heaven's so far away. I mean, uh, where, where could my baby be? You know, all the stuff. They just don't care. So here's here it is. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that who, you know, Jesus, that whoever believes in him, Jesus, should not perish but have everlasting life. So there, gotcha. Now, wait a minute. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that through the world, but that through Jesus, actually, the, uh, try that again. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through his son, Jesus, might be saved. Now, he who believes in Jesus is not condemned, but he who does not believe is condemned already because he's not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Well, what does that mean, though? This bit. This is the condemnation. The core of Christianity that they just weasel out of. Because, wait a minute, you don't have to listen to God to get to heaven. Or, uh, yeah, tell that to anyone else, right? Even Christians and Muslims don't really tell us. What? Yes, you do. Oh, the one God? Now you do have to listen. Because this is the condemnation. That the light has come into the world, and men and women love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For everyone practicing evil hates the light, the truth, and does not come to the light, lest his or her deeds should be exposed. But he or she who does the truth comes to the light that his or her deeds may be clearly seen that they have been done in God. Father God, you know, this one that we, we pray to. Loving God, we thank you 
for Jesus, the light of the world and the guiding light of his great love. And then Jesus explains that this, the Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth, is equals my Father's spirit, Father God's spirit. <laughs> well, we all know the Holy Spirit is Yahweh's spirit. Jesus just says, yeah, when I go, it's good that I, they kill me and I go, because then I'll come back to life, I'll send, and then I'll send the helper, or whatever, and that's verbatim. <laughs> it's a paraphrasing, but I mean, it's verbatim paraphrasing. You know what I mean? So anyway, that's my little Sunday school is cool uh, daily. It's not my daily bread thing, all right? It's not mine. Somebody else wrote it, all right? We we collude. We I, I'm not above, like, I didn't come up with it, but I support the sentiment. <laughs> I'm not jealous that I didn't think of it or whatever. No, I'm not. The person uh, does put their name real small there. And this one happens to be Patricia Raybon. <laughs> Which, maybe that's her name, maybe, uh, who knows. But either way, uh, you know, uh, that's what this one is. God bless you all, and in, in good times and in bad times, you know, Father will be at our side, and so will Jesus. You know, we, they will not leave us orphans. And we sneer mightily. Our dead do not die in vain. Theirs always die in vain. Going, hail, a uh, Hydra, hail, Hitler. He was proud of that. Uh, you know what I mean? From like the, uh, the stuff about him? Now, anyway. All right, well, there's some stuff about it. Bing, bing. Where's I do? <laughs> I didn't do anything. I didn't do it. Quinn it. Quinn it. All right. Bye bye. God bless.